All right, today we have a beer from Unibrow Brewing Company out of Chambly, Quebec, Canada. Um, of course, we did a Maldit, the uh, Belgian strong dark ale. Today we're going to be doing uh, a beer called Don de Deux, which is a 9% uh, alcohol by volume Belgian strong pale ale. We've done a few Belgian strong pale ales before. Wasn't a big fan of the uh, last two, and I'm wondering if it's a style thing. Now, I've had this beer, I don't know how many years ago. I remember really, really liking it. Um, as well as just about everything that Unibrow has done that I've tasted, basically everything. I, don't, I can't think of one uh, exception to the rule. However, uh, the Brooklyn Local uh, one, I think, and uh, I'm trying to think, the, the Oma Gang Belgian Pale Ale, um, which I think was past its uh, drink-by date, um, wasn't a big fan of it, and I'm wondering if it's a style thing. I don't know. I guess we're going to really find out if it's a style thing today. Maybe. Um, of course, as you know, uh, it's kind of a, a style that basically takes the Belgian pale ale and puts it on steroids. High uh, alcohol by volume, higher alcohol by volume. They actually call this one a triple wheat ale. Um, and I mean, it can range from a hidden kind of alcohol content to spicy to just really, really there. So it's, it's kind of almost a catch-all, I guess. Um, it's just a light-colored ale that is not an American pale ale, I guess. Um, complex uh, kind of stuff. Duvel, of course, is the quintessential uh, um, style, quintessential uh, beer of the style, which I, I don't even know if I've ever had Duvel. I think I have, have had Duvel once. I don't even remember it, so we'll see how uh, this one goes. 10.5 IBU, so definitely not very hoppy at all, uh, mostly malty. Uh, it claims to have uh, vanilla and fruitcake, flowers and honey kind of aromas, and they claim that the flavor is smooth, fruity, malty, and uh, a hint of sake in the flavor, which is very, very interesting. And there is a uh, reasoning behind the label, Don De Deux, as you see that big, uh, nice-looking ship there. It's great artist rendering. Uh, there is a write-up here on the back. It says, The Don De Deux, June 3rd, 1608, under Samuel de Champlain. A commission by the uh, Pursue the... Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm not even reading the right thing. The Don de Dew in Tadoussac, June 3rd, 1608, under the command of Samuel D. Champlain. See, there's a, a bunch of writing on the left, and then there's the unibrow logo, and then on the right, there's the rest of the story. And I was just reading everything on the left, like an idiot. Anyway, the command of Samuel de Champlain uh, de Bruges, uh, commissioned by the King of France to pursue the exploration of this vast and inhospitable land called America. So he set out uh, on the Don de Dew, that was the name of the ship, which means gift of God, by the way. Uh, and uh, what he ended up doing was discovering the city of Quebec in Canada. So, of course, this is uh, the region where this beer is. So an homage to Samuel de Champlain and his ship, the Don de Dew. So we open her up. I uh, love the gold wrappings that all the unibrow brews have. We'll pour her into a chalice, proper vessel of this, and we'll see our golden kind of color that we usually get from the strong pale ales from Belgium um, with a nice frothy head, not overpoweringly frothy. A lot of these pale ales uh, from Belgium tend to have a very, very high frothy head, as you saw from the uh, Brooklyn Local 1, as well as the... Um, the Oma Gang one that we did. This one, not quite looking uh, as effervescent and quite as fizzy as the uh, other ones did, but definitely that just bright, bright orangey color uh, with a uh, frothy head nonetheless. So let's get the aroma, and we'll see if we can get the uh, vanilla and fruitcake aromas as well as the flower and honey. I'll see if I can kind of pick apart this and see what we got here. Tell you what, I do have a hint of... Uh, honey kind of uh, smell in this. Almost smells like a triple uh, in a way. Uh, again, they label this as a triple wheat ale, but uh, I think the official style is Belgian strong pale ale is what the category it really falls under. It really does uh, smell um, triple-ish, almost like a, uh, like a golden monkey uh, kind of a uh, triple kind of smell to this. So definitely fruity, definitely like uh, just citrusy, I would say. Uh, vanilla, I'm not getting. Fruitcake, I'm not getting. 
at least uh, as far as the aroma. Maybe a little bit of the fruitcake. I'm not too familiar with the fruitcake scent anyway because I don't really eat it, but that's apparently what it smells like. Let's get the flavor now of Unibrow Dom de Dee. See, this drinks like a triple to me. It, it tastes like a, a little more of a subtle triple, but definitely great flavor. I mean, I'm, I'm getting that... Wow, I'm, I am getting a, a, a vanilla uh, taste to this. Uh, the sake part of it, I don't know much about. I don't know if it has, if, if I can taste the sake. Sake to me is a warm Japanese beverage that you really can't taste <laughs> other than feeling the alcohol. So I really can't speak for that, but uh, I, I'm getting a fruit... A kind of a taste to it, a malty kind of taste. Let's take another taste here. It's a great tasting beer. I mean, it's very uh, effervescent. It's very uh, uh, malty, fruity, uh, and a beer that definitely has has the taste, I think, to it that it, the other strong pale ales that I had from Belgium, the Belgium strong pale ales, didn't quite have. So this one is just a, you know, if you classified it as a triple, I would believe you. Um, it is Don De Dew, and I'm going to give Don De Dew from Unibrow Brewing Company a 9 out of 10. 